Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a synth preset using Reasynth and Reaper. So I have a project set up here, and I want to add a synth to it. So I'll start off by creating a new track over here. Let's put it into record and name it synth. And we'll make sure the input is set to MIDI. And I'm using my MIDI keyboard down here. So if I play it, we see the levels on the meter. So now we're going to create a synth preset on this track using Rhea Synth. But keep in mind, this is just one preset we can create, and I'm doing this to inspire you to create more on your own. This is not the only way to create a synth with this plugin. It's just one way that you could hopefully build on. So now we'll go to the effects on this track, and let's search in the filter, synth. And we can choose Rhea Synth right here, which is a synth plugin that comes with Reaper. Double click it, and it looks like this. Now by default, it's a very simple sound. We can make it more interesting by making it more of a soul wave. Right down here, mix it in. I'm gonna go about 80, which sounds like this. It's a bit buzzy. Let's bring down the volume. but it still sounds very basic. Now, if we're gonna use this for chords, we could leave it like this, but I'm gonna use it for a lead. So I'm gonna change the portamento, bring it up a bit, so it'll sound like this when we hold down one note and play another. But that only happens if we hold down one note and play another. Otherwise, it just sounds normal. Now to thicken this up, we could add more synths, either down here by mixing in a triangle or an extra sine wave over here. But what I prefer to do is just add another plugin. So let's copy this and paste it. And now we have two of the same synth which just makes it louder. But now we could change the tuning of this one. Let's bring it down minus 14 cents, which will detune one of them, which makes it thicker. Now let's pan the second one to the left. Now in this plugin, there's no pan setting, but we could use this trick to do the same thing. Go to the pin outs and turn off the right channel, so we just have the left. And now it'll sound like this. With the detuned one panned to the left and the normal one panned in the middle. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Let's copy this and paste it. Let's detune this one the other way, plus 14. And let's pan this with the plug and pin connector to be only on the right side. So now the normal one is in the middle, and the lower tuned one is on the left, and the higher tuned one is on the right. Making a very stereo sound using three oscillators. So let's add another one to add a lower octave. Let's copy this one and paste it, put it down here. This one's panned in the middle. Let's detune it minus 1200, which is a lower octave. Let's bring up the volume of the lower octave a bit. And now let's add a higher octave. Copy and paste this. We'll change this to plus 1200, which is an upper octave, which sounds like this. But the upper octave is too loud, so let's bring it down a bit. 
before and after. Just makes it thicker. And now we have five oscillators playing at the same time. Now we should add a filter. As you can see, there's no filter in this plugin, but we could add another plugin to do that. Double click over here and let's search Moog. Reaper comes with this Moog four pole filter. We could use it as a low pass to adjust the top end. We could also add some drive to give it more presence and adjust the resonance to decide how thin the filter sounds. Let's set it a bit lower. Now we want to adjust this so it moves over time, because it sounds better that way. And we could do that with an LFO, or use the volume to trigger this parameter. So let's touch this parameter as the last touched parameter. Go to our menu and choose Parameter Modulation, which opens up this dialog. And instead of choosing an LFO, we'll choose Audio Control Signal. Choose it. Let's make the channels one and two. Now this is going to trigger a cutoff or the frequency based on how loud the synth is. And we can adjust the sensitivity using the minimum volume. And also adjust the bass line. Let's set it around here. Notice as the volume changes, it adjusts our cutoff or the frequency of the low pass filter. Creating a more interesting and dynamic effect as it's controlled by the volume of the synth. And we can readjust our attack to get there quicker or slower. We can reverse it to go in the opposite direction. But I think I prefer it in the positive direction, right over here. It's pretty thick and wide and very dynamic in how it's filtered, as it changes over time based on the volume of the synth, or how hard we play it, as it is velocity sensitive. So now let's add a panning effect, which we could do with an LFO, but I prefer to use a specific plugin. Double click over here, let's search pan, and we could use the ping pong pan. Double click it. This is going to pan over time based on the frequency and the width or how wide it's going to pan. Make it really fast or slow. Let's bring it in so it's not so wide and a bit faster. So it's panning over time with a very thick synthy sound. So now let's add some delay 
and reverb. I'm going to choose read delay. We'll set it to about 300 milliseconds. We'll add some feedback and adjust the level right here. <laughs> And now some reverb. I'll use reverbate, bring it down a bit, make the room size nice and big, bring down the dampening so it's brighter, and adjust this to taste. We can make this more spacey. Or dry. So just like that, we created our own synth. And like I said, this is just meant to inspire you to create presets on your own. You don't have to make this exact one. But to save it to use again, we could either right click and go to Effects Chains and save all effects as chain. But what I prefer to do is to save it as a track template. Just select it and right click it, save track as track template, give it a name. And now, if you want to use that synth, just right click over here, insert track from template, and then choose that preset. And it brings it in right here, ready to go. <laughs> With all the synth plugins, our filters, the panning, delay, and reverb, ready to be used in our song. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a synth preset using Rea Synth in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.